Hi, hello, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Welcome to this month's Suite of Possibilities. The Suite of Possibilities is a video hop that I do with my good friend Katina Martinez over in the US. Uh, so please watch all my video here and then hop over and watch Katina's for more inspiration using a particular suite. So this month we have chosen to use the New Horizon Suite. Now this suite can be found on page 42 of the mini January to June 2022 catalogue. It's called New Horizons. You can buy it all with one single number, which I love. It makes it so easy to get all the things that you want. Um, and it comes with all of these beautiful things, which I'm going to take you through now. So this was on my list pretty much from the moment I saw it. <laughs> Not so much on Katina's, I think it's fair to say. She, she, I'm sure she will admit that. Um, but it is a very versatile suite. There's lots and lots that you can do with it. So I'm going to show you a few of those. First of all, let's have a look at the stamp set. It's a cling stamp set. So it's nice rubber, sticks on your stamps, uh, on your blocks nice and easily. It's got some lovely words. Wishing you so much happiness, thinking of you, thanks for everything, breathe and relax and enjoy your day. Just really nice sentiments that you could put on any kind of card, really. Men or women. I think this is a good set for men too. It's got trees, it's got what I call frondy bits, it's actually grasses. <laughs> now this kind of wooden plaque thing uh, and then um, some birds which are lovely, silhouetted. And the bundle uh, comes with this set of dies which this cuts out that wooden thing uh, and then the rest don't cut out anything. They're just standalone dies that cut out various shapes um, which I'll show you as I go through with the cards that I've made. So I am going to use that one today. Uh, I've already cut the other one out, so that's fine. So I think that's all I need from there. But it's got these beautiful fence pan panels and everything. It's lovely, really lovely. So let's pop that away. The other thing that comes in this suite, which I think is it's like star of the show, um, are the papers. So let's go through the papers. They just are created to have scenes pretty much already designed for you, which as a card maker is great because, you know, you can just pick it up and go. But then some of them become a little bit more what I would call Monet looking, um, impressionist. They're not specifically a set scene and you can therefore um, do things with them. This one's a little bit more set. This one's very, very impressionist. I love this one. Pink's obviously my favourite. Um, and then this one's really wild and wacky. You can do lots with this. And this has got really bright green, almost granny apple green here at the bottom, which I love. This is very similar to that other one, but it is actually different. So, uh, where is it? It's this one here, I think. Yeah, so this one, this one's got, like, it's almost the same thing, but this one's closer, this one's further away. So I like that, that they've got, two that are similar but not quite. This one's just stunning. Let's put those straight so you can see it in all its glory. Reminds me of um, chalets in the snow, uh, like a ski and alp alpine sort of view. Uh, this one is gorgeous, lovely sunset coming in over the lake. Again, a much more impressionist view. And then this one, which is like a starry celestial night. Uh, um, and then on the back, you get more um, what I would call backgroundy kind of just random. This is lovely. Another blue. Although this one again could be like a field with trees and skyline, but they're they're less defined. This one. That's very green, dark um, evening evergreens. Beautiful. Much more bright. Lots of different colours in these. That's um, gorgeous, marbly kind of watercolour effect of, um, oh, what's that one called? Pale Papaya. There we go. And then Blackberry Bliss. Yum. Fresh Freesia. Again, this is a much, this is more like the front ones. And then oh, Polished Pink to finish. Oh, why would you not? So they are gorgeous, uh, these papers. You can do so much with them. And then they come with two other things in the in the suite. A, a combo pack of ribbons. You get both these ribbons. Uh, and this is pale uh, petal pink and misty moonlight. So that's really gorgeous. Even though misty moonlight is leaving the catalogue, 
this is still going to be here until June so um, even though you can't get the cardstock and ink after the end of April beginning of May you can still get the ribbon to go you know you've still got some ribbon that will go with your retiring stock so that's great uh, and then finally the pebble enamel shapes now these have been on back order then they've been in then they've been on back order then they've been in <laughs> not back order out of stock even um we don't do back orders anymore so they've been in and out in and out in and out i have no idea whether they're in at this point in time so i use this suite as my retreat bundle retreat, um retreat suite in, in actual fact and i thought well, i've got to give them some embellishments so i replaced um the pebbles with the faux sea glass shapes and i have to tell you it worked really really well so if you don't have the pebbles or you can't get hold of the pebbles then go with these because these are quite brown and gray and actually there's not that much brown and gray in those designs there's much more greens and white that can go on anything so i found these a really good option the other option that works really well with them if you're stuck and you want some sparkles are they in color jewels they work really well too because it's they're all the in colors in this pack so that's great the current in colors okay so let me start off by showing you just a few of the things that i've made so far then we'll jump and we'll make a card then i'll come back and show you some more i've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads to show you today um so here's a four card very very simple you know me i like my simple cards so i just made these with um half a pack a half a sheet rather of each papers okay i did have to cut them down the middle so you can only get two cards out of each pack which way is easiest this way let's do this <laughs> um, so you can see that I just chop pieces out and turn them into cards these are laid on Blackberry Bliss these are laid on um, Knight of Navy actually and then just with the sentiments so very very simple little bit of stamping going on on the paper but um, very very simple but aren't they spectacular I love a card that you can have really simply and yet it looks amazing how cool is that so that's my first four projects for you so here again i've added actually a little bit of color with some blending birds going off up stamping the um, trees we'll do a bit of that in a bit and then just adding the, the ribbon on the bottom there this one is actually copied a couple of these are copied from the catalogue and i worked out how to make them and added them on they're just lovely that this was one of the favorite cards for the weekend with this um beautiful ribbon behind it's just so easy and it's great for a bloke you can definitely turn that into a man's card and then this one i love when we split paper like this so stamp and split it's really cool and then this ha uh, has a little bit of my vellum obviously at the back uh, and that's cut out using the um the dies from the set then this one with just the let's set sail bringing that in and just adding this little frond piece grasses at the front really simple but very effective uh, and then this one which again i've um sort of cased from the catalogue really it's a bit different it's got some lovely sequins on the sequins that are in the catalogue at the moment are they're amazing they've got little like um half round uh, circle clear circles and different sequins in them they're beautiful and little stars and everything really cool so those are just a few of the cards that I've made with this set and I think you'll agree that you've got a lovely variety of colors you know you can you can use so many different colors with this shuffle them around so you have you can see them so many different colors that you can add and use with these papers and lots of different sets you know okay most of this is using the suite but adding in the the little sailboat here is so easy and it just perfectly sized for that piece of paper so these projects you can all you can get all of these projects and more by purchasing my uh, retreat bundle that's up on my shop uh, and i'll put the link well the link is in the description below so i will um you can grab those from me um, and for the previous four as uh, the previous four is different the, this four is on 
is in the description below I've given you a tutorial for these okay um, for free that's on either below or on my blog and then I've got three more wow cards to show you which I'll show you at the end but I've got two nice cards to make for you now that will have a little bit of folding a little bit of um, different things going on so stick with me and we'll make some cards together and then we will I'll show you some more at the end and tell you how you can get all of the instructions so this first card I wanted to show you it's it's almost like a spotlight technique but you're spotlighting the whole section of a card so I'm going to show how that's put together you do need two sheets or um, a sheet that you've cut previously with some extra bits so let's get out what we need now you can add blending to this I'm not adding blending today um, just for speed really and also because I quite like the sky as it as it is right now um, with this sort of splotchy bit going on but you could um, definitely add uh, your own blending with a blending brush around the edge if you wanted to so we're going to need the grasses and we're definitely going to need the trees I find I like these better on this one you can put them onto a, a thinner block but I quite like them on the big one it helps me do stuff and you're going to shout at me but I'm going to do a bit of rocking but you'll understand why when I do it <laughs> I'll be like no can't be doing rocking um, and I've switched this up a little so rather than making this exact same card uh, I've switched the papers out to these but it's exactly the same principle okay so you need a base card and cut your paper to cover your base oh I need to chop a bit off of that oh now which one which way shall I chop I think I need to chop a little bit both sides I've forgotten I needed to cut mine down Normally I would just choose an end, but I have already cut my other pieces and you'll see why I need to be careful <laughs> in a moment. Okay, so we're just chopping our card down. Uh, depending on where you are, the sizes will be different. So have a check of my tutorial because that's going to have the different sizes in. Okay. Alrighty. So base card needs to be completely covered. I use wet glue for this because it does give me that ability to just inch it, it's, you know, just gently massage it into place if I don't get it quite right first time round. So, there we go. And then you know you can get that nice and straight. Then I've cut a piece that is your normal um, layering size that way and I've cut it shorter this side and I've cut a piece from a second piece of paper that takes out just this chunk okay now this chunk um, you can you can get from a piece of paper and it's the same size as the bit that you chop off here so you know you're not going to lose anything you can use that for another card what's left so then we'll pop that up on there oh but before we do that we need to stamp it stamping pip stamping right i'm going to pop a little bit of tiny bit of grid down just to protect my base and because this goes edge to edge doesn't matter that i did it afterwards you could do it before if you preferred i probably would have done if i'd have thought about it but i got carried away <laughs> so first off we're going to go with the trees i always start in at the darkest position with them at full strength okay then I rock slightly and don't do the bottom line if I can help it and that gives me that depth okay then I might put another full one just over there like so and then well that's quite light now so let's see can we put a bit in there oh, yeah not that it's going to show because that's going to be off the edge I want these ones a bit lighter so I'm stamping off first using second generation ink and that's probably going to do me then I will put the fronds 
grasses, pip grasses, down just at the bottom here. So it just looks like you're looking out over this lake from a shoreline. There we go. Now, before we stick the other piece down, we're going to decide what trees we want here. So, bring that back in again. We sort of want it to match, but maybe not too much, if you know what I mean. We don't want to cover it all up, because I quite like having this gap here. So, I'm going to put some just here. Second generation. And again, just a bit of second generation on the edge there. So it looks like it joins up with the other trees but it's not quite the same because it's a little lighter. So it sort of matches but not quite but that's okay. Then we're going to attach that. Now I don't think the, the um, fronds would look as good here uh, although we could put some on this side like I did on this one could put some over here if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it blank for now. Glue this in place. The one thing I will say is, it is so easy. You can get really carried away. <laughs> oh, I forgot my birds. I knew there was something else we were supposed to be stamping. So the birds I'm stamping in Night of Navy. And these ones, it doesn't really matter where we stamp them. So we'll have them kind of going off a bit over here. Coming on a bit over here. There we go. And then when that goes on there, we can have them coming sort of that way and that way. And then they'll sort of follow on from the from the middle piece. Okay, so that's that. And then the last thing we do for this to build the picture is pop this panel back on, making sure that you're lining up the edge of the water line, really. That's the important bit. I think I've got that, have I? A bit that way. There we go. There we go. There. So now we've spotlighted it. It's cool, isn't it? Uh, and then we're just going to put a sentiment at the bottom. And I have discovered that the um, potted succulents have some great label dyes in them. Because the one thing that it doesn't really have is labels. I mean, you could use some of the sort of swatches to, to do it. But the potted succulents has this lovely long stitched uh, die in it and it matches the thanks for everything um, from here perfectly. So we're going to do that. Bring in your white embossing powder. Run that through your heat uh, with your heat tool so it embosses. And then you can place the die on. And see, it just lines up beautifully. And there you have your lovely words. And we'll pop those up on mini dimensionals. I'm using the minis just to give it a bit of lift. There you go. So this is the original. 
and this is the different design today. Beautiful, both beautiful with this papers, it just lends itself to doing these amazing, you know, landscapey kind of um, cards, they're just gorgeous. So I'll be back with some more, let me just tidy my desk. Okay, so for this next card you need a large piece of cardstock. Again, I'm using metric, um, but the tutorial um, in the link in my blog will have imperial measurements as well. And then these are the two sheets of paper I've decided to use this time. It is different to the one I did, I've done previously. I'm going to show you that one now. So this is the card I made before um, to sort of illustrate this new fun fold. And I say it's new because I've not seen one where you have this panel showing and this panel showing and then the fold in the middle. Normally this is over here, but this opens out like this. So you get this beautiful scene of the boat on the lake uh, with, the, with the birds flying and then the grasses at the bottom. But when you close it up, you still have this here because there's actually another piece popped in the back there. So it gives you this full size will fit in a normal envelope this way with the um, design showing and just a little hint of what's coming uh, behind and I love the adventure awaits this is from the let's set sail stamp set and then when you open it up you get the full panorama and of course it sits on your um, mantelpiece and will sit like this so that you get that whole view all right so let me show you how to make that so the first thing we need to do is we need to cut our cardstock. So you need your big arm out. And as I say, I'm doing this in metric, but you can see the imperial below. So it's the normal 14.9, which is our the height of our card when it folds into a normal envelope. But this way we're going to cut it to 22 and a half. Okay. And then you don't need those pieces, you can get rid of those. And then we're scoring it at ten and a half. And then seventeen and a half. Okay. So it folds that way and then back on itself that way. And that gives you these lovely three panels. Okay. So it's a little bit wider when it's actually open, but you don't put it in the envelope like that, you put it in like that. And then you need to do your panels. So I want them to have, probably I can just take a little bit off the top of the sky because it needs to come down to 14.4. So a little bit off there. Make sure you do the other one exactly the same before you start cutting. Otherwise you'll have a mismatch on your um, horizon. Okay, and then we need one that is by 10. Do this one. Oh, do I want that or do I want that? Oh, this is the hard bit, it's choosing which pattern you want. Do I want that in the background? Yes, no. no. <laughs> uh, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this side. Oh, choices. <laughs> okay, now you can keep this piece. So you've got that, because this is the piece that's going to go behind the front piece, okay? So that's your inner, that's your behind the front. Then you need the two inside panels. And you want them to sort of match with this. So if we went there, that's a bit too short. So we want to take it sort of here-ish. So this one is six and a half. And see, I think that will match better with that side. Yeah, that's great. So six and a half. And then we need one that's four and a half for the front. And the front is going to be matching up behind with this one and in front with this one. So although that would work nicely, I'm thinking I want the lower one here sort of in the middle. 
So then I'm going to take this piece and cut that at four and a half. Yeah, because it's a bit more dramatic sky, so we'll do that. There we go. Right, and you're left with another piece, so discard that so you don't get mixed up. Right, so now you have your four pieces of paper. Okay, which go like that. <laughs> uh, next up, make sure you burnish your card well. It's very important, this piece. It's, it's not something to skimp on. Uh, especially this fold here and I actually find that if you fold it one way and then fold and do it the other way and then go back again the other way it actually helps because you just every time you're doing that you're creasing those fibers and making it a little bit less um, resistant to the to the fold Okay, that's another top tip for you today. So, so now it's a question of putting these in place. And because they're just flat layers. Oh, I should have stamped it first. Ah, I'll stamp it in a minute. In a minute, it's fine. The only stamping I'm doing on this is birds. So it's going to be nice and easy. So pop that down. Let's stamp the birds before I forget again <laughs> right so this time I'm going to be using blackberry bliss just to tone it all in and we're going to stamp some birds up here like so oh they look good and then maybe some coming down here like that lovely and then we'll pop some birds on here, but I have got a f another thing to put on the... We definitely want some birds on the front. And they could be coming off to the inside, so we'll do that. Nice. And then... I might do some birds here. I need my piece of grid paper. Come back, grid paper. So I'm going to go off. And unfortunately, I've discovered that Blackberry Bliss does stain my silicon mat, which is what I used to have underneath. So just be aware of that if you have a silicon mat yourself. Uh, pop some up there. Uh, pop some coming down here. I don't know how much of this is going to show, but we'll put it in anyway. There we go. It's going to be a lot of birds in this sky. Loads of birds. Birds all over. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now we can pop those in place. The problem I find with this paper is working out which one to use because every time you turn it over there's a beautiful other vista on the other side and you're like, oh, oh, but maybe I could use that or maybe I could do that. It's just um, very, very difficult to choose. There we go. Right, and then this is the front piece. nice lovely that's looking good so going to close up over there open up like that now we need to do this piece and I'm just using my um, seal for speed you, you can definitely use your multi-purpose glue if you want a bit of wriggle, wiggle room there we go See, so now that when, when that closes over, lovely. But I need something else on the inside. So I have um, die cut out from the papers, no, not from the papers, from the die set, this gorgeous mountain range. Now I've just cut this piece out. You do actually get one that slots behind it, but I'm actually going to lay mine over these mountains here. So the blue of the mountains is coming from them and so I don't need that solid piece behind. You can also cut it out from the papers um, and have that blue behind if you wish. 
Now, I should have done this on adhesive sheets, but I forgot. So <laughs> bear with me while I try and glue this little tiny piece down. It's actually not too bad. It's got some fairly good solid pieces that you can grab hold of with your glue. It's just this little edge here. Just needs a little touch, not too much. Okay. And whip it over. Decide where you're going to put it. Now, for us in the in Europe and um, well, everywhere other than North America, really, anyone using A4 cardstock, it fits perfectly on a 10 layer, 10 centimeter layer. If you're in the US, you'll have a bit of a gap because your cardstock's wider than ours, so you'll have a bit of a gap there. But that's okay. So when that closes up, you've got the mountain range showing, and when it opens up, you have the full mountain view. Now, you could add a sailboat, but I decided not to. Uh, I've taken one of the labels from the So Succulent, Potted Succulents die set, cut that in Knight of Navy, and now we're going to stamp the words. Breathe is what I want. There we go. And we're going to pop that in the smallest layering one. Then layer that up pop that onto your top piece making sure they line up like so and then attach this to the front of your card uh, but again make sure that only half of it's on I'm actually going to come in I think a little a little yeah just a little more than half I think so just past, just past the pointy ends, pointy bits in the middle. There we go, line that up. Make sure that is straight. Yep, straight, there we go. And there you go. There is your finished result. So here's my original Adventure Awaits with the green and then here's my second one with the pinks and purples. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean it's lovely and then obviously you would put a sheet on the back for writing on or you could scroll in here if you wanted to, it's up to you. I mean you can write on this, it's you know clear enough. Um, and to finish it, you would add some embellishments. I'm going to add some of the sea foam shape, sea faux sea glass. I can't say that. <laughs> ah, faux sea glass shapes because they are beautiful. And you can just scatter some of these little white ones around, you know, at the base of the at the base of the water's edge. I'm going to put one on there. It's not sparkly, but they're nice, if you know what I mean. They're just pretty. I wouldn't do too many on the inside, obviously, because you want to close this down. But uh, a couple looks good. Almost looks like icebergs. Iceberg dead ahead. Yeah, you could definitely put some like at the base of the the base here look like it's a bit like ice falling off. Hmm. Okay, so that's that. And then to absolutely finish this off beautifully, I recommend a dab of Winker Stella. Just along the tops of the, that mountain doesn't have to go all the way just across the top so it's like the snow is shining and shimmering and you could actually add it to the tops of the mountains on the inside as well you can have a bit of sparkle going all the way over Uh, 
and the tops here. And of course, don't forget the other side because that's also going to be on show. There we go. So now we have a little bit of sparkle going on as well. So a few gems, a little bit of Wink of Stella, just a little tiny little bit of sparkle happening. It just catches the light, it's lovely. Right, so I've got more to show you. Haven't finished yet. <laughs> just when you thought it was safe to put down your cup of tea. No. You go I know I probably have inspired you to make stuff, but I've got more things to show. So I wanted to show you just a couple of things more that I did at retreat, and then we'll make one more project before before I go. <laughs> I know it's been a long one. I'm sorry. I I, I can't be sure. I just don't. I, it's not in my nature. <laughs> Um, so this was one of the other cards we made at retreat. This is my um, three panel slider or yeah, three three panel slider is what I'm calling it. I think it's lovely. Not pretty. And then uh, we've got this one, which I'm calling a double Z fold flip out. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's really called, but it works for me. So um, this is using obviously more of the softer colours, the pinks and the purples. And some of those gorgeous stars, can you see them? Oh, from that sequin collection, beautiful. And then the big wow card, I think, for our retreat was this one, which is my flip out frame. So it goes like this. And then you have all this beautiful background. Now you could stamp all the way along this, I didn't, but it just, isn't that cool? And this one, I wanted to show you that you could also use the um, sail away or sailing home bundle that we used to have that's now retired and sadly sold out but there we go so if you've got that at home you could use that as well but this shows off the beautiful gate posts uh, that you get in that set so just a few things from my retreat and then one of the things that I did for retreat was I gave them a little gift and I gave them a mystery project to do and the mystery project was basically an empty frame like this and they had to put, make something to put in it. So what I've done is I've stamped a piece of um, the papers, just a bit of grass and some birds and a few trees. This is the one that looks like a lake, I think, coming out or a waterfall coming down into a into a lake. And you just slide that one in there, like so. Position it where you want. And then you have a gorgeous picture, but it needs finishing. So I have die cut my um, some fronds. If I can find what I've done with them, there we go. <laughs> so I use this die, die cut some fronds. I did remember to put adhesive on the back of this one, and you just lift, just lift that. Um, adhesive off. I try not to cover it completely because then you've always got somewhere to pick from using my take your pick tool and then gently lift it so that you don't rip off the other bits. There we go. And then pull that off like so. And then I thought I would position this. Oops just about here so it's sort of coming over but it's sort of on the edge like so so there's my fronds and then I wanted to put a sentiment on the front of that so I just popped up this relax on your day using dimensionals stuck it over the image so it keeps it um, in the right place and then on the back I just added some strips of magnet, which means you can stick it on the fridge or anywhere else you want to. So it'd be great to put a photograph in or anything really, but I thought it looked lovely with that um, design of the papers and a little bit of stamping. So there we go. This is now the end of what I've created for you today. So we've got this one, this one and this one. And then we have the fancy folds, this one. And this one, 
which I think are, are actually quite simple fancy folds and would be a great one to just add a little bit of extra surprise to everything. Uh, then we have the four cards. These, uh, The tutorials for these are below, these four. Okay, and you can get the tutorial for this one on my um, if you subscribe to my newsletter. And then, of course, the retreat projects, all the re retreat projects that I showed with you, shared with you as well. Um, they're all available if you go and shop my retreat uh, webpage. And you can buy them as you get the whole website, you get everything. So you get a whole web page, all, all set up with all the videos for everything, including all of these and the stamp stack and more. <laughs> loads and loads of stuff. But I hope that what I've shared with you today um, has shown you all of the amazing things that you can do with this beautiful paper and, and suite and it is truly a gorgeous suite but it is retiring it's not carrying forward into the new catalogue we know that now so if you want these papers or these um, stamps and dies I do recommend that you grab them as soon as possible because you know as people realize that they're not going to be available and as time gets closer then they will probably sell out so jump on Grab what you need. All the list of supplies is also below. Uh, you can do the whole collection with one with one item number or one click. It's really easy. And I'm sure Tina has got even more amazing things for you to see as well. So please make sure that you, if you're in the UK or France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you can shop with me. If you're in the US, you can shop with Katina. If you're outside of those countries, please find a local Stampin' Up! demonstrator to support. And... If you've got any questions or comments or you'd like to tell us whether you like it or not, then please let me know in the comments below, either here in YouTube or on the blog if you're watching this on the blog. Thanks ever so much for watching this month and I hope to see you again next month with a new suite of possibilities with a suite coming from the new annual catalogue. Very exciting. Alrighty, thanks ever so much for watching. You take care. This is Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you. Goodbye.